are you ready? Okay, so I need to finish up 2018. So that's what I'm going to do here. Finish it up and then I'll do um, another video with a flip through and then I have some other videos and stuff I want to do show you. So we'll see what I can get done because it's already 3.30 <laughs> on New Year's Day. So who knows. But the last day I did was Friday the 28th. This was actually some stuff from Friday. Um, this was from Friday. This, I think I got this on Saturday. Picked it up on Saturday. That was a gift from Mona. Was it Saturday? No, it was Friday because I taped it, but I didn't have time to do much more, so I just did that. Anyway, I want to finish up. I've got Saturday and Sunday. Um, and I do actually have a bunch of ephemera for those two days, like right here. Like lots of ephemera that I can use. So I'm looking forward to getting through some of this stuff of mine. And so we'll see. All right, so um, Saturday and Sunday, so, and then today is the other one. So let's see what I've got for space. So I'm going to do Saturday, Sunday like this. So you just flip this open and you can see it that way. I think that's probably my best option. I finally got the Christmas stuff put away, um, and I've got it down to one tote, and I had a, two totes, and I had a little bit of extra, like the ornaments that I just put in Ziploc bags, and um, I had a little space left in a tote, a scrapbooking tote that's right by my Christmas totes. So I stuffed that in there so I could get rid of one whole tote, which is really helps a lot. It just helps a lot to get rid of stuff, you know? Just hang on to things too long, I'm afraid. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm just trying to get this on here straight. <laughs> I'm sure it's the best. So Saturday, the 29th, let's see. The start of my four days at home, which was really nice. Um, I did sleep, let's see. Oh, let's get the owls on here. I slept until 8.30. Thirty, and I must have Doug must have been nine thirty if I slept till eight thirty. Maybe I slept till seven thirty. He slept till eight thirty because obviously one of these is not right. <laughs> what are you gonna do, right? Anyway, let's put an owl here, and let's put an owl over here too. Okay. And then we need an owl over here on this day. And then I just need one for New Year's. And I think, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the owl now. Okay, good. And that has completed uh, my owls for 2019 or 18. I think I actually did manage to um, stamp an owl for each day <laughs> of the year, the entire year, which was my goal. Okay, so let's go on with the 31st. I got so many things, I have to just look at them all. Okay, so Saturday, what did we do? Doug made breakfast, um, we watched Hoarders, and I did laundry, and then I toggled my craft room, and that was a lot of work, and it was really, really good. I gave you guys a tour of my craft room, so actually I did do Saturday, yeah, because then I showed you the Happy Mail for Saturdays, so all I did was put this back in here, because I hadn't done that yet. So actually I did finish Saturday. Yeah, I did it, I just didn't put this in it, so... <laughs> Sunday though it was partly sunny and we still had temps in the 20s and 30s so that was good went to church um, saw some friends there that we hadn't seen in a couple years uh, went to Red Robin for a date lunch 
and I did save something from that. And they are really good burgers. We used my gift card, the rest of my gift card from CGI, my work, and the, my husband had a gift card from his work, and that paid for lunch, except for the tip. We, that was our own money, so I thought that was good. Um, really good food there. Um, then I did a YouTube video on my traveler's notebooks I'm using for 2019, so you can look at that. Made my January March inserts, so I'm all ready to go for the new year. I'm so excited. Um, started working on my two winter nature journals for my shop. And then we had toasted cheese for supper, watched another hoarders, and then um, watched the movie Mr. Church on Netflix. And you guys, um, excellent movie. Mr. Church is a really good movie so I would totally recommend seeing it because I think it was excellent let's do a little cutting of things here um yeah just a really good story I just thought it was I mean there were some hard things in it sad things but um on the whole the story itself was super good so you should check that one out i think you would like it okay so here we go that was for church and then this was the red robin look at this isn't this beautiful I got a whole sheet <laughs> I was so excited. So I think what I'm going to do is just go like this and put this down. And what do I have? I have one page left. This is not sad. I mean, like, I have to do the 31st here because I had... Well, maybe I'll be okay if I can just keep this down to a good amount. I think I'll be all right. Okay. So I'm just going to stick this paper in here. Um, from, and then I'll save the rest. I really like it. The, I love these type of papers to use from restaurants because they're just, they're perfect for restaurants. Now we do not go very often Oh, let me make sure that was not my phone turning on. No. That means Monty must be in here. Maybe. He's rolling around somewhere. I put him in his ball. Because the tree's going to be gone soon, and he loves to roll under the Christmas tree. So, anyway. So, yeah, this is the Red Robin paper. And I'm just going to put the rest of this in with my, I save parchment papers and stuff from the different places. So that will just go into the storage place. All right. So I did use, my husband is out getting groceries. Nice of him because, you know, I really don't like grocery shopping. Just not my thing. I know. Anyway, this card's empty. But this is the gift card that we used for the restaurant. And I guess the best thing to put this on is going to be this glue. Because I don't see how it's going to work otherwise. It just won't, it won't stick. So I actually used it at the restaurant and I used up the rest yesterday at the Mall of America. But I want to put it on the Sunday one. So I'm just going to go like this and kind of hold it down just to get it to stick a little bit where it's supposed to stick. Okay. Yeah, because otherwise I'm afraid it's not going to stick. And I, I, I like to use those sort of things in there. I also had uh, my last of my Swiss Miss hot cocoa that I got from a friend. So I thought um, I loved the package. It was a Nestle's. Had a little gingerbread man on the cover. But I thought 
uh, the box but I'm just using the flap right here and I'm I'm not, not gonna worry about the spaces when I get to the end of a notebook it's like I just need to get it done you know and get it out of there so the 31st um, this fits perfectly in here and I have to t I have to put it in as a flip so yesterday uh, it started out in the 30s and the wind it was windy and then the um, the what do you call it wind <laughs> the wind picked up and the temperature started dropping and then it was uh, light snow showers in the afternoon um so yeah it's totally the day changed i feel like what's gonna be the best way to do this maybe like this i'm just trying to figure out the best way to put this so i we can i can still read it um so anyway, um, my husband went to a junkyard. It's one where you can pull parts. You pay like $5 to go in it. And then you can, um, you can pull parts and you pay something for those parts. But it's a, it's a good way to get things a lot cheaper. Well, he spent like, my goodness, he must have spent four hours there. And just wasn't able to find what he wanted. So anyway, and it was such a cold, nasty, windy day. So it's too bad that he was there all that time. But then he went geocaching. But he dropped me off at my daughter's and she and I went to the Mall of America. Mostly so we could get Poke, Pokemon stops and stuff. Um, that was part, a big part of it. Because there's so many at the Mall of America. Um, and I do, I started playing Pokemon again. And the other uh, was to get some things. So I love this. Look at this. I'm going to cut off part of this and keep the rest. I went to the Japanese store there called Tomodachi. And this bag has um, so fantastic. I'm going to cut off the words of one of the words. And then I'm going to save this bag for whenever I go there. Well, I was looking for a Pusheen charm to put on my purse and I couldn't find one. I mean, we tried several stores, but I wanna show you guys what I did find and, um, cause I mentioned poke sticks, remember? And I went into the store and they had a um, huge display of poke sticks and they were on sale, buy four, get one free. So I'm gonna just put this here. So of course, <laughs> what do you think I did? Now see, I just didn't need to do that like that. I don't know why I did that. It's kind of dumb. Oh well, anyway. Um. I should have put this one down, not not this one. It's kind of dumb. Ugh. <laughs> this is the one I want down. Okay, so you can see Tomodachi, and you can see the runner tape runner. But oh well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, so they, these are the poke sticks. They're like little biscuits with flavors. And I know that they're savory flavors, but they only have the sweet ones in the store. But I wanted to um, show you which ones I got because I'm kind of excited about this. I think I'm going to use them as gifts. I don't think I'm going to eat them. Maybe I'll eat them. I don't know. <laughs> Almond Crush. That was one. And they were like $3.50 a box. Um, strawberry cream covered. So they're like little biscuit sticks. Um, you know what? I'm gonna. This one had a tag, so I am going to pull the tag off and go like this. 
Um, cookies and cream. Mixed berry. This is the one I am keeping. The matcha green tea covered biscuit sticks. I love matcha. So, yeah. And then, um, so we did that and we went to Typo. We went to Paper Source. I found gifts for some friends. Um, we did Starbucks. We went to Barnes & Noble very briefly. We went to Lunchbox, which is kind of like Hot Topic, but I like it better. It's not so dark as Hot Topic, like, you know. And then uh, my husband finally, we went back to Rachel's around three. My husband got back, oh gosh, it was like 4.30. So we rushed home um, and hmm. first we rushed home so he could drop me off to get supper going for Sadie and then um, also to pick up the packages. I had gotten some more packages. I'm going to show you one of them. Um, the other one wasn't anything journal related at all, but he did pick me up a brochure. He knows I he knows I like to have brochures for things, so he was nice and picked me up a Chick Fil A brochure. So I'm just gonna put it here. But he went back to Chick Fil A and he got their peppermint chocolate chip milkshakes for us and Sadie for supper, and we had that and corn dogs and um, fries. That was supper. And we watched the rest of that animated Christmas movie, The Star, which is so good. And we um what else did we do? Watched another movie about gnomes, another animated show about gnomes, and um yeah, that was it. And we didn't stay up. My, my husband had to go clear snow today, so he wasn't staying up late. And I had stayed up till 11.30, 11.15 reading. Sadie didn't fall asleep till 10.30. <laughs> we gave her sugar too late. We know better. But anyway, that's what happened. Um, and so we didn't, act, we didn't actually watch anything ourselves last night. So I just read till I was too tired and went to bed. Didn't really sleep that great, but oh well. And that was the end of the year for us. Nothing huge, you guys. So um, let me do. It's 17 minutes. Um, I'm going to stop this and I'm going to come back and do the flip through. Okay? Bye.